good but very windy good morning to you it's the 26th of february and it's monday we're just about to move again okay. apologies for the wind noise nikki and i have just sat there for about an hour and a half trying to pair up these mics and we cannot get them to work um hopefully we'll get some sp a lot more spare time and we can have a go i don't know what's wrong so be prepared for wind noise again um, yeah, we're going to cruise to the end, well, not to the end, towards the tunnel to some visitor mooring at Snairston. I might have got that wrong. I think it's Snairston. If it isn't, I'll put it below. But that's where we're cruising to. Only an hour, an hour and a quarter cruise today. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's just a shame. It was nice and sunny first thing this morning, but uh, the sun's disappeared. But we're going to enjoy this little cruise under that bridge. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please join us. We've really enjoyed Amor in here with uh, the train station and the village. Lovely little quirky village. Very nice. Lovely little buildings. There is a pub there called the Rising Sun. Unfortunately though, they're not doing food at the moment, but I think they are planning on doing it in the future. And the pub, like a typical village, is opposite St. Peter's Church here in the village. We had a nice walk around there. Unfortunately though, the church was locked. We couldn't go in, I suppose. Sadly, that's a sign of the times. Hello, little one. We haven't got out of tick over yet, moored boats, and you can see Derek and Pauline behind on Silver Fox. We had a lovely day yesterday with uh, Derek and Pauline. We all went to Shackerston Station here on the Battlefield Line last Wednesday. If you look back, you'll see on last Wednesday's vlog, uh, we had a lovely trip on an old steam train. Uh, really enjoyed it. Shackerston Station, like going back in time. It was lovely to see all the old uh, trucks there, the scales there, and of course the tea room. We had a lovely bacon sandwich each in there. Well, Nikki had a pasty, being Cornish, of course. I did. Had a pasty. Wasn't it lovely? It was very nice, and it was nice as well. So very oh, you had to say that. I've got Silver Fox up my bum. Look. We can go for it now. We can go for it now. We've just got the last moored boat here. And then we're off. And when we were on the trip on the train, I'm going to have to get this right because the sun is to the side and behind. Uh, Nikki is sitting there. We met two subscribers, Elaine and her husband. I'm afraid we can't remember the gentleman's name, but very kindly they gave Lily and Noah a little bit of money. That was very kind of you. Thank you. And later on, Nikki took the little ones back on the train and there was another two subscribers. Wasn't there? Well, I didn't catch things either, but... Didn't get the names, no, but, but uh, say hello. yeah, and uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to say hello. Uh, but you had, you had fun there, didn't you, with the little I loved ones? It. Kids loved it, didn't they? And uh, again, we're saying check out Noah 
on an Arab boat and you can see what he got up to there uh, they were so kind the staff at the station amazing they point all sorts out to you very very helpful it is rather expensive if you've got kids it is quite expensive isn't it but well worth it we think it's worth it oh definitely yeah definitely really good what was the highlight i'm trying to get nikki but steer the boat the highlight yeah oh i don't know bacon um, sandwich for me yeah that was good I, I just like the train i'm a bit of a geek like that i like the old steam train. i've got into them since we've been together yeah, we've been the, on a few now yeah all the history the old yeah it's yeah. nice it used to be a military line i believe in between 1939 <clears throat> and 1945 and if you look very carefully on last Wednesday's vlog, you'll see a couple of little huts. I managed to film them, and they were sentry points. Uh, there were some soldiers, armed soldiers in those. Uh, I believe they used to carry fuel. You were talking to a gentleman. He was telling us, yeah, they yeah. were transporting fuel on the line. So plenty of history there, um, and we really enjoyed it. Yeah, get yourself uh, up to Shakistan and support them. They need all the support. Uh, they are, they do rely a lot on donations, so well worth it. loved as I've said before we've loved the Ashby it's quite sad to get to the end uh, but I'm sure we'll be coming up here again and we are gonna film unusually we are probably gonna film on the way back because there's a few things that we haven't done on the way up and we promised ourselves we're gonna do it on the way back so hopefully we can share a bit uh, with you but I hope you've enjoyed the Ashby it's not over yet we're gonna moor just short of the tunnel and then uh, in a few days time when we need the Elson point and water we're going to go through the tunnel to the services use the services and then probably come back and more up in the same place as uh, there's a pub on top of the tunnel called the globe and there's a classic car show there this Sunday and we're hoping to go and have a look at it it would be lovely to go and have a look Nikki and myself love classic cars so it'll be nice to go and show the kids what proper cars are.
<laughs> no. That's us all moored up. Just up there is Derek and Pauline. They're putting their canopy back on, on up on uh, Silver Fox. And you can see Snareston Tunnel. I think it's 228 metres. Uh, you just have to, we can actually see the other side. So you have a look if a boat's coming uh, and then you can go through. We are obviously going through the tunnel. Not sure what day, maybe a couple of days yet, but we're meeting our friends tomorrow in a pub just above that tunnel a pub called the globe uh, i've got a table booked so i'm looking forward to we meeting wayne and amanda uh tomorrow isn't it uh, yes it is it was a very cold cruise we got wet yeah, we got cold out. and now the sun's out it's very pleasant so uh, we're gonna let the dogs out and have a bit of dinner we'll catch you when we move next time take care any pie? No, not so. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Catch you next, next time. Thanks. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday the 28th of February and you can see Snareston Tunnel just there. 228 metres of darkness. We can actually see the other side from here. It's not a long tunnel at all. And then there's Snareston Wharf, the other side of it. Just down this towpath, literally 300 yards there, is the Globe Inn. A very nice public house and we had a lovely surprise yesterday. We had guests that came to visit Pauline, Derek and Nikki and myself and of course the kids uh, Wayne and Amanda from Narrowboat, Narrowboat Spudley check them out on YouTube they came to visit us but they kept quiet that they were bringing Pat and Eileen Pat and Eileen came too from our Narrowboat Quest it was really really good to see them we had a great day went for a lovely meal Hello. at the Globe never been there before it was really nice had a nice meal and a catch up with them and then it was back to Narrowboat Silver Fox uh, Amanda had made a lovely Victoria sponge cake and Derek had been at it again. He had made a malt loaf to die for with lovely butter on and we all had lovely coffee and a ketchup. Really good and we're all going to be going to Crick. So another meet up at Crick. Maybe we can see them beforehand. They do have cars so uh, yeah maybe they'll turn up. But in the meantime Chugs' his engine's going. I know Pauline's doing a load of washing first but we might be going first. We'll see. Water point and services through the tunnel and hopefully a mooring for us. So Nikki's just put the tunnel lights on and the nav lights and I was going to get that lovely torch out that Mark and Tracy got us in Mercia but to be honest by the time the back end goes in the front end's going to be coming out it's a very short tunnel. There's Derek. Derek makes cakes. <laughs> You should be baking. <laughs> oh, Pauline's making us butter chicken for this yes, evening. So she's busy blending at the moment. I've just spoke to her. So looking forward to a lovely meal with them. Yeah, yesterday was really special. We haven't seen um, Wayne and Amanda for possibly 18 months. And uh, Pat and Eileen, nearly three years. But we just met up and started talking like we were with them last week. It was really special, wasn't it, darling? It was. Nikki's on Yeah, I can't tunnel. see the other end, and I don't know if that's I shall a toot bend, my horn. Or if it means somebody... It is a bend, go. isn't it? It is. It's really bendy. It goes... I think it goes right and then left. I'm not sure. Does it? I, can see I don't a little know. Bit of a, like an egg shape. Yeah, yeah, I can see the end, but it is got a bend in it somewhere I'll on the left, toot, I think. Just to make sure. <laughs> I hope I'm that kayak nice man's not in here. Pardon? I hope that kayak man isn't oh, yeah. in here. Yeah, 
to see a kayak this morning. I can't even see. Is the light working, love? Yes, it is. The light is working. We're all right. There we go. Nice and steady. I'm not going out of tick over. Yeah, it's turning right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What a weird tunnel. It's the smallest tunnel, but it's... A bit not straight. Bad. doesn't look any better this side, does it? Oh, not good. No. postcard isn't it even on a day like this with the rain and the drizzle still beautiful really just ticking over crossover bridge there so the towpath is now on the other side Here we are at Sneston Wharf, little shop there selling trinkets, which is very nice. But unfortunately, there's nowhere for us to moor. The plan was to go through this little bridge and moor up down there, but it's restricted now. They've got problems down there, so we can't moor down there. There are no moorings up there. They're all taken. So we've got no choice. Fill up with water, use the services, and then go back through the tunnel and uh, moor up through there. It is what it is. We can't do anything about it. It started to rain. It's really miserable. <laughs> but never mind. At least we'll have a loo and we'll have full water tanks. So uh, all will be good on that score. Oh well, folks. That's it for another day.
Thank you.